In this video, we will introduce the new Operation Orchestration Designer, a redesigned web-based editor for your workflows. The OO Designer is embedded in HP CSA and can be accessed from the CSA's Workflows section. Let's take a quick look at the OO Designer, also known as Workflow Designer. The project panel is used to create new projects, folders, flows, configuration items, content packs and import repositories from version control systems such as Git. Dependencies section is used for importing content packs which will be used in the flows development process. The source control management section allows to interact with the Git version control system. Let's take a closer look at the different components. To start the development process, the author creates a new project in the Projects panel. In the Projects folder, the author creates folder structure, new flows and system properties files. The Dependencies section is used for importing existing content packs which can be used in the development process. The content packs are first uploaded and, if successful, the actual import can be performed. The author can either browse or filter the content packs library and select desired operation items to drop them on an underdevelopment flow. Multiple flow steps can be wired together in a needed order. The author can add result steps in the form of either success, custom or failure. The failure step is optional since in OData operations are automatically mapped to a default failure step. The default failure step itself can be customized upon desire by simply dragging existing flows or operations. In the inputs panel, the author makes sure that the required inputs are provided and fills the optional ones if needed. Similar to inputs, outputs can be created and defined in the Outputs panel. Of course, inputs and outputs can be defined on Flows Level 2 by going to the Properties view. During the entire process, the author can click on the Show as Text button and see the textual representation of his flows in the Cloud Slang language. The SCM functionality allows the author to commit and push his work to a remote repository. To do so, the author first imports a new repository from the import repositories in the projects panel. HTTPS, SSH or file system based protocol types are accepted. Any targeted SCM server needs to be validated before the actual connection can be made. From the SCM panel, the user can either pull, commit and push, or revert his changes. When the development process is completed, the author creates a content pack from his project. The content packs can be consumed in O Central or in O Designer. As an author, you have two choices either download the content pack locally, or deploy the content pack directly to a targeted O Central. Thank you for watching. Find more videos and guides in our community.